Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, Senior Analyst with Wikibon. I want to talk today about hyperconverged infrastructure and how it is leading to enterprise cloud environments. So first, let, let's start with hyperconverged infrastructure. So it's a technology that's been around for a few years now. Wikibon has dubbed it the wave of server SAN, which hyperconverged fits into. And what this is, is a number of technologies and really methodologies for building solutions that have come together. So you have, uh, first of all, the advent of Flash, which is greatly changing the architecture architectures of infrastructure. Uh, you have the increased role of software to really uh, be the main piece of uh, the solution itself, uh, really separate from the hardware. And then you have solutions that are built in distributed architectures. So we saw these early in the likes of what Google, Facebook, and the other hyperscale companies were building. And there are now solutions like hyperconverged infrastructure that are bringing these down uh, to the enterprise environment. So what does this mean for the user? So first of all, it's about breaking those silos. So in the past, Past, when I used to build my infrastructure, I would do it application by application. I would have bespoke environment that I need to uh, you know, change all those geek knobs and really adjust what I'm doing. I need something that's much simpler. So small building blocks that I can just buy, I understand what they have, and move forward. I'm really talking about bringing compute and storage together. Secondly, the operational model needs to be a lot simpler. Uh, so, you know, that means that, you know, both when I bring it up on day one, it should be able to happen much faster, really talking about something that should be able to be spun up in a matter of hours, not weeks or months. Uh, and after the fact, adding new uh, expansion nodes in uh, is real easy, adding capacity is easy, uh, and, uh, you know, things like upgrades should just be a push of a button. Uh, one of the things that takes this beyond just standard infrastructure and makes it more like a cloud uh, is really that management and orchestration layer. So what this means is I need to have simple environments that can help enable automation and really is a foundational layer that ties into whatever frameworks I'm using. So uh, usually an API-based environment uh, that allows me to uh, really, I shouldn't have to manage things too much, but once I've set it up, I've got it running, uh, the, the, the solution's gonna take care of itself a lot. Uh, enterprise cloud also means that not only can this uh, be something that is in my environment on-prem, uh, but really should be able to bridge and have similar type of operating models uh, off-prem too. So that's that hybrid cloud uh, type environment. Uh, if you want to go to Wikibon, read up on what we call true private cloud, goes on to this a lot more detail. So uh, really talk about simplicity, uh, extending a lot of the value proposition that we had for virtualization, but adding that management and orchestration layer uh, to really get us out of much of the day-to-day -day activity uh, and the, the, the daily hamster wheel of uh, having to manage our infrastructure, which should change the economics uh, quite a bit uh, to look much more like what the promise uh, of what cloud has been striving to deliver, especially uh, in my own data center and beyond. Learn much more by going to wikibon.com to see all our research, and thank you for joining us.